All right, we're back with the next episode of The Order 1886, and I'm just going to go down this tunnel because I didn't go down here last time, and I feel like I'm missing something. A chest! Ooh, what's in here? I feel, suddenly I feel like I'm playing Dying Light because those look like similar chests, don't they? That's it. Yep, get it. Get it, Darkin. Get it. Get it. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. I was, um, I was thinking the other day about um, Thalassophobia. And that's a weird one. It's that fear of water and stuff. Because if you've watched my depth episodes, you'll notice that uh, it kind of get, gets to me a little bit. Um, perhaps not as much because I, I get the feeling that it's not genuine. Because I think if it was genuinely genuine, genuine, then... Um, then I wouldn't be able to play the game, to be honest. And I feel like it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a, um, a shady one. But it's so odd. I don't know. I wouldn't be able to explain how it came about. Like I wouldn't be able to go. Oh, it's because of da 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 da. When I was a kid, um, I was swimming in the sea, and Cthulhu came out. And was just like, you're gonna be scared of the water now, yeah? And I was like, okay. I don't know how it how it happened, but. Um, I know I watched Jaws as a kid, and a lot of people probably feel the same. I feel like it's more this, this, this irrational fear of, or illogical fear, I guess, of stuff underwater. Um, I actually hate the idea of big open spaces. I think it's also the, 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 the vulnerability. And don't get me wrong, I get this in swimming pools as well. I think I said in one of those episodes, I get in swimming pools. If I'm in the deep end, and I'm underwater, obviously my eyes are closed, and I can't see, then basically my mind takes over and creates a world around me that's not actually where I am. And it goes, oh, there's a giant shark over there, and there's about a million miles of nothing beneath you, where probably stuff that we've never discovered lives that's coming to get you. Oh, and also, yeah, there's other things there's like a giant crab heading your way to your left as well. Just so you know, Dan. And obviously it swims faster than you, so cool. And my mind does that um, every time, every time. And it's, it's horrendous because it really, it really does put the fear in me. I can literally feel my heartbeat going nuts. Um, and yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know if people with the genuine like fear ever even go in water. Because I do, and it turns out I swim quite well. Um, but there, there, no, there is this horrible, horrendous thing. There was actually a time I was on holiday, uh, I believe it was Spain, and you could hire one of those pedlos, and you just sit back and pedal away. And I was on the boat with my sister and brother at the time, and yeah, we, we went out quite far. We were just going along, and we, we, you know, we could see the seabed. It was quite shallow for a long time. And we kept going, we kept going, we kept going, and it was cool. Um, and eventually we kind of stopped and we chilled out. And my brother pushed me off the boat, off the pedlo. And obviously I, I was happy to get in because I thought, you know, seabed's just there, fine. But I literally kept sinking. And I, yeah, that was the most terrifying thing. I, I remember it so vividly because it was the most terrifying thing. It just turned out that the seabed just dropped off. And obviously when I got back onto the pedlo, like nearly crying, I looked out and the water, you could see on one side, you could see where the seabed was, on the other side, fucking black, black death, nothing, empty void of monsters and death and horrible things, and, oh Jesus, like, never again, we went straight back in and I'll never forget it, and, oh, just, it, I, I don't even know if that was it, to be fair, I don't even know, I can't remember if I'd had those horrible fears before, but now I think about it, <laughs> now I think about it. I had swimming lessons. Um, I lived I lived in Ghana for uh, three years when I was a kid, and um, we had swimming lessons. And their versions of swimming lessons are unorthodox, to say the least. <laughs> Here, obviously, there is you know you have like um, float flotation devices, and you get your badges, and you know there's someone there to look after you, someone else who can swim, and da da da. -da. And, and, you know, you have all your bricks that you have to get from the bottom of the pool and you swim in your pyjamas and all this sort of stuff. When I was learning to swim in Ghana, it was basically a case of you had two armbands and the rest was very much up to your instincts of survival. Because the guy, I'm not even fucking joking, the guy had a giant stick. It was like the poles you used to hook onto stuff. You know, like, um seven eight foot pole and he would I don't even know if he could swim I genuinely don't know if he could actually swim himself because I don't remember him ever getting in the water but he would he would use um, have I got a weapon yes he would basically use his understanding of how to swim to teach us how to swim which you know a really bit of a strange way of doing it to be perfectly honest uh, didn't make much sense and he, if, if anything he would just like poke us and I, I don't mean poke like prod us to like get, move us along 
but he would poke us in a way that was like, keep swimming, go on, I'm here, don't worry, I'm always here. And, he, and, and then obviously if we started to drown, he'd just give us the stick and we'd have to grab onto it. That was literally how I learnt to swim. Um, which, again, as a kid, probably not the, the best way, you know, there's, there's better ways to learn to swim. That might not have helped, because if you were drowning, the only thing you really would, you, the only thing you'd be grasping for is a fucking stick. That's it. Um, not great, to be perfectly honest. Not, not ideal. Not the greatest way to learn to swim. <laughs> um, also, unfortunately, a kid, um, not under the, not under the supervision of the uh, swimming instructor. Um, not that I feel like I need to give him good rep because it was like 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, and um, I don't even know if he's still alive. Um, where the hell is this other person? Is this door open now? Yeah. Um, but no, I, a kid did nearly drown, and, and effectively there was no stick this time. There was no stick. Um, and he was just, he, everyone noticed that he'd just been underwater for a little bit longer than usual. And, um, and I didn't really notice because I was merrily swimming around just minding my own business trying not to think about dying. And, and yeah, and he was just kind of found just flat out at the bottom of the, the swimming pool. Um, he, he survived, we, he lived, we gave him the wee. Dad um, and our family friend, you know, helped out with CPR and doing the old mouth to mouth and things like that. Um, but yeah, no, it was, I don't think that helped. Um, because obviously, as a kid again, it gave this idea that it was that easy, and I guess it is that easy just to go down. Um, what the fuck? Jesus Christ, mate, chill out. No, 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 stay alive. Come on, Darkin, please don't. Please don't. Stay alive, Darkin. We believe in you, Darkin. Yeah, we go, good. Get back up, get back up, get back up, get up, get up, get up, and hide, hide. There we go. Um, yeah, it is that easy. I also read recently that when someone's drowning, they might not necessarily be struggling, you might not notice, they might literally just sink, um, which again is a bit like, oh, good, okay, so someone, someone could be messing around, um, but then again, they also could just be not swimming, which is just as much a sign that they're, they're drowning. It's good. It's good. Water's great, isn't it? It's, it both sustains us and keeps us, um, you know, the fear of everything underwater. I just don't like it, man, because I, I reckon there's still stuff underwater that we haven't seen yet, and I just can't imagine what it would look like. You know, um, what was it I found out? There's sea spiders now? Not now, there always have been, but we've discovered them. Um, not, not crabs, but actual sea spiders, and they're like two feet long. What the fuck, man? You think they'd be somewhere? We're just waiting now for there to be air spiders, and then that's it. That's, that's the full, like, trifecta of... That gun just fly up. Where the hell did that gun go? That's the full trifecta of spider fear. You know, they fly, they swim, and they're on land. Cool. Thanks, biology. Thanks, evolution. Cheers. Good game, bro. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Where the fuck is this guy? If you could die sooner, that'd be cool. Come on, come on. Die, 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 die. Oh, don't. No, don't piss off, you bastard. No, I don't. Don't lie. I haven't got anyone pinned down. Fucking pathetic. It's a rubbish way to call for help, mate. There we go. Right. Now he's dead. That's good. Next. Who's next? Yeah, that's water. That's water for you. It's something, actually, when I talk about um, <laughs> biology and death and life and things, I actually wonder, has anyone ever thought that life itself is like a an extra parent that... You know, it's a bit cruel at times, but but you kind of because it because it's not like a, a a tangible entity that you can communicate with. Does that not mean that um, perhaps it, it has a way of just teaching you about life um, in its own fashion, um, just to let you know that life is indeed pretty cruel? And it's it's not to say that you give up or that life is hard, but it's all just lessons constantly, and that life is just another thing that just kind of helps you, like your parents do. You know, they'll teach you lessons and they'll try and you know, do whatever's best for you and so on. But life just kind of exists and carries you along down this path. And, <laughs> and, and because, because if you think about it in this sense, I do consider the area where um, it's, it's weird. I can't really put it, I can't really put it in a clear, oh, you fucking idiot, in a clear manner. But I think if life is a channel, it's like this tunnel where everything runs through 
and everything has its lane, you know, it's like your infinite lanes down an infinite highway, and these combination of lanes, every now and then when two people change lanes and meet, that's obviously when a child happens and a new lane is birthed in that area. Um, and I just think, is that channel, is that life um, thing just another parent that helps you go along? Because we all go through these bad times, and I'm very much of the um, uh, attitude that no matter what happens in your life, everything you need to learn it's a learning process all the time whether it's something you're not really proud of you know something you don't really feel is good to learn or you know whether it's something that you'd rather not learn it's still something you've learned it's still something you're stronger for uh, hence the whole term you know whatever what doesn't kill you makes you stronger which you know is questionable every now and then um, but it's, it's just one big lesson constantly that life's teaching you going you know just have you considered this I don't think you've considered this, and I think you need to, this is something you should probably consider. It's never fair, it never makes the best judgement, but then, I'll be honest, no matter how good a parent you want to be, you're never, you're never able to always make the best judgement. I think it's something that, you know, parents might uh, forget. Can we get off the wall, maybe, Duckin, or are we still here? Are we still here? Oh, we're still here. Okay, then. Um, so, yeah, I guess I always, I, I kind of was thinking the other day, like, what if, what if life was like your other parent that you just, you don't acknowledge? and you don't treat with the respect it deserves because all it's trying to do is just teach you about life it's just trying to teach you about things you know you yeah, know it's just some stuff that i consider every now and then just just things <laughs> have you got have you got this dog in oh he's shot again brilliant oh all right mate once is enough usually in the right place there we go done this is another thing that, that backs up my theory of the fact that Darkins and I are actually human completely because he's just been shot, what, three or four times and he's gonna live. He's gonna live through this because of his weird vile shit that he has that seems to have unlimited amounts of stuff in it. I don't get it. It didn't make any sense to me. And I don't know if that's ever gonna be explained because he just has this stuff, this magical potion. You'll be fine in a minute. You watch. You watch. I'll be fine. Here we go. He's moving. He's moving. He's gonna get up. The blood stains just got bigger randomly that's weird right okay then i'm coming let's see if i can yeah come on there we go good you're doing a great job of covering me there uh thank you la la what was her name lakshmi lakshmi i think that was it if we could lunge a bit that'd be cool there we go good now then oh okay yeah and then this happens no it's just some of the stuff i like to think about you know some of those things that thought that's all where are we Oh, we're doing fine. It's good. Go! Excelente! Magnifico! Magnifico! So much for keeping this friendly. Damn it, I'm in no mood to jest. <laughs> you said you had proof. Where is it? I don't know what this proof is. I still don't know what he's talking about. I still don't understand. I'm completely lost. I don't... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All right, okay, let's press on. Let's go. Let's do 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 do. And look, see, he's fine. He is fine all of a sudden. Everything is fine to be dozy. And we are fine. Oh, what's this? Let's pick this up. What's going on here? Uh huh. Let's look at the back. We've got time for this, apparently. Everything is on schedule. Joe, J, T, J, F, A. There's no F there. It's not an F. All right then. Uh, oh, door. It's good. Let's check it out. Boom. All right. Door. Door is locked. Find okay. Way. Yes, we do. Perhaps Let's go. The there we go. Of course you can. Yeah, I've played all this already, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of playing along. You know, this idea of like. Ah, uh, let's see what to do next. Ah, uh, but I know what I'm doing. So, you know, I'll let you know, obviously, when I get to the stage where I haven't touched it and I am still recording and everything's fine. I'll let you know. Although, knowing my luck, something, something will happen where I'll run out of hard drive space and the fucking video is just going to go, Oh, you're out of hard space, Dan. Hard, hard space? Hard drive space, Dan. Ha 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 ha. There's another video that's gone wrong. Ha 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 ha. Technology. Magnificent. I think I can reach. Over here. Good. Are we, what are we doing? Oh, what's over your shoulder there, mate? What do you look at? What's this? What, what are you looking at? There we go. Look at it. So determined. So very determined. Yeah, you sculpt the, sculpt the horizon, mate. That's it. Yeah. You mean business, don't you, son? Yeah. We're not fucking around today, are we? Yeah. Don't you worry, love. I'll reach everything. I'm fucking Galahad. 
Galahad Dark in. Right, jump. There it is. Fantastic. And over. All right, and to the door. Do, 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 do. And we sprint down here. Then we go over here. Then we go to the door. What's this? Oh, a ticket. Okay, there we go. Yes, thank you. And we'll get the door open. And I think that's it. That's going to have to be the end of the episode because I've run out of time. I am done. I'm done here. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Of course, if you have any comments or anything, you know what to do. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.